Herne has green and of course water and it is right in the middle. Let's take a closer look. This is a movie about our city. Here we see a nice corner. That's a nice corner too. This is not such a nice corner, and that will definitely become a nice corner sometime. Herner's beauty is not revealed to many at first sight. Some things have to be looked for a long time. And yet Herner has a natural location advantage. The city lies in the middle of the Ruhr metropolis, Europe's third largest metropolitan area, with over 5 million inhabitants. A top location, especially for the logistics sector. Short distances on the last mile and on the Silk Road as far as China. The dense network of highways, railways, canals and air routes create boundless opportunities. Here, even homebodies live in the fast lane. Thanks to modern fiber optic cables, it goes at full speed on the data highway. Once upon a time, there was a golden city. In the 50s, this reputation drew crowds of visitors from the surrounding cities to its boulevard. The Art Nouveau buildings of this strolling promenade are now just as much part of Herner's gems as Teutoborgia. Herner's Green Village is one of the most beautiful mining settlements in the area. In addition to the purpose architecture of the post-war period, Herner is building the future. The water castle Strunkeder, landmark from the early Baroque and home of the cultural and urban historical collections of the Emscher Valley Museum. The Gusenberg Park is a park of a thousand possibilities for sports and games. Herner's green edges can also be explored on rail trails and along the river Emscher. The Rhein-Herner Canal is one of the most important waterways in the region and Herner's direct connection to the largest European inland port in Doisburg. Directly on its shores lies the mother of all cultural centers at former industrial sites, the abandoned mine Unser Fritz II-3. The structural change of the region is particularly visible in the generation-spanning project Emscher Conversion. Culture enthusiasts will find in Herne a surprisingly diverse range of unique cultural brands. The state-of-the-art exhibition of the Westphalian State Museum of Archaeology makes the history of Westphalia tangible from mammoth and hand axe to medieval Krakow. Once a year, renowned instrument makers, musicians and lovers of old sounds come together at the Days of Old Music in Herne. Together, they take a look at a fascinating music era. An 11-acre site along the canal is being converted into a village for 11 days a year. With 5 kilometers of its own roads, signposts, hundreds of stalls and more than 4 million guests, the Kranger Kermes. Next to nostalgic carousels and roller coasters, the newest high-tech rides regularly celebrate their premiere in Kranger. For this fun fair, people here like to take their holidays with pleasure. They actively shape it. In the backyards and gardens of the neighborhood, many quaint bars of local color are waiting. <laughs> 